Turn it on, Joe, yeah. <laughs> Here's one that was a big hit. There's a pawn shop on the corner in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And that's where my love went. Oh, is that dumb? You know, uh, there's a fella that worked right up here at Carnegie Mellon. And uh, he wrote a lot of nice folk songs. And he wrote a song about Pittsburgh, and it was called The Forks of the Ohio. And actually it had to do, it had to do with George Washington. And it went something like this. In 1770, young George Washington came to the Ohio. A year past 20, he was full of plenty of the old get up and go. He didn't seem to mind the Indians or the ice and snow. He just came a looking and a riding and a walking to the folks of the Ohio. Well, the story goes on, and he and his guide, Christopher Gist, were coming down the Allegheny, and George slipped and fell in the Allegheny River. And George came a wheezing and a sneezing and a coughing to the forks of the Ohio. Bob Sch Bob Sch no, I want to say Bob Schmertz. That's not him. Anyway, that's the forks of the Ohio. I even got in the act, and I wrote a song several years ago with my good friend Bob McCulley, and we wrote a song about the way Pittsburghers talk. Did you ever in your life sing a Pittsburgh song? Did you ever sing a Pittsburgh song? Oh, Yunzo like my Pittsburgh song. Yuns will like my Pittsburgh song. Sing it loud. Sing it proud. Yuns will like my Pittsburgh song. But, <laughs> but you know, it really is a bum rap for Pittsburgh, but we've had so many wonderful composers, starting with one. There's a statue over there, it's one of my favorite statues, and right there is the memorial to him, and I'm talking about Stephen Foster. Here's a song that Rick Foster wrote that not many people know. He wrote a lot of songs about women, and this is one called Laura Lee. <laughs> Tony Pollard.